These are dark days, I fear. of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rashid. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Uh, Ethan. Uh. No! Don't let them take no. me! Oh, uh. son. Whoa, it's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. This place could use a gale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow, waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. You know, I'm not really a bastard. But you're my kind of bastard. It's half the reason we're friends. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. doing we need him alive to collect his bounty after that he looks fine fat and scared good let him stay that way until we collect our gold at least 800 gold dragons for capturing him lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. lucky for us not so lucky for him we should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? We've not been paid yet, Beska. Can't spend dragons you don't have. We'll have them soon enough. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironroth. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. 
Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To us. Aye, to us. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings all friends together? I'd cut your fucking throats! It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Here. 400 dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell! And we're done with you too. Tazal, what the hell have you done? You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponteos in us! Bojos me nomi jahosu kisikas! Kill them now. No one more life. Here's one. Come on. She couldn't pass me. Pass me! Oh. Be thou on. This reminds me of <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop.
to Saul. Kill them both. Asha! No. <laughs> All the gods are fire and fuck. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Tazal? Fuck. More on their way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. Keep moving. Malcolm, stop! Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your family needs you, Asher. I'm here to bring you home. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Roiland. You again. I, uh, Where have I you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a oh, stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale, and you have the oh, fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester. Look at the colors. A fine trick. Please. And now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Oh, that was a sheep fucker. I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is it, sir? Which one's still alive? You there! Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick! By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Let him. <gasps> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. Then don't write it. Mother will understand. been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. 
They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... I guess we'll see. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Roderick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. No. I have to do this on my own. All right. really doing it. Everyone will be so glad to see you up, though I think you'll find that much has changed. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Looks 
looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We, uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. You'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. Then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. You don't know me as well as you think. I know enough. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead, and they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real accursed. shame about your leg. Oh, who Lord. gives a toss? What? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. 
Your legs? Or this house? Move! Now! Go on then, my lord. Ridiculous. You're treating them like the guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Uh. Oh, my Lord! Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. Mr. Otengrin doesn't know everything. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Silence! I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Troth is coming to Ironra. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Just handily. We could keep them fed, but take away their wine. 
that'll be something at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter...
Dear Lady Elena. No, dearest Lady Elena. She took the seal with her. Hopefully a signature will do. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well... It's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. We'll find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger in his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 no. years ago. And I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent in. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? You're looking at the wrong recruit, sir. So it was someone else, then? Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow. Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast.
Eric? You're the Castellan's nephew. What are you doing here? Lord Ethan judged me a thief. Should have taken my fingers. Instead, he sent me to the wall. I wish he had cut him off. If he had, I'd still be home with my family. Instead, I'm stuck here for life. You'd rather your hands didn't work. That's mad. But it'd be over and done with. Fucking foresters. Tuttle, I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. Didn't think so. Now, if there's nothing else you need... Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. This is falling apart. Maybe they need more builders. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these, we're like. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. 
Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Want some help? Don't hurt yourself, Tuffer. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! I won't say it again. If you ever hit me again, I swear I'll... Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get here. Here they go again. Knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man atop the wall. Fine. 
Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me.